Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to build an AND logic gate. Now this video is a direct continuation from my previous video, the NAND logic gate. Now I've also built an AND, so basically what I'm doing is I'm showing you this another way of building an AND logic gate. Now this is the circuit I've built in a, in a previous video, but obviously the truth table doesn't change, so to quickly run over it, you have a, inputs A, inputs B and uh, output X. And basically the output X is low unless both A and B are high. There's your, your circuit symbol where you have A input, B input and output X. That circle there is the, uh, if you can see it, I don't think you can see that circle there. That dot is the boolean symbol for AND. I'm also using a bipolar junction transistor where I have a base an emitter and a collector. Okay, the one I'm using at the moment is a BJT, a BJT of a, a BC547 or a 2N2222 transistor. And I'm also using 600 ohm resistors. Now, like I said, this is a direct continuation from my previous video, the NAND gate. So this is the this, this circuit that I built. This is the NAND gate that I built. Okay, now clearly, not NAND is AND. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to not my, not my NAND and make a, an AND gate and once again if you want to learn how to make an, a, a NOT gate you should see previous videos I've made but essentially a NOT gate is a single transistor so bas basically what I'm going to do is and may I put here I'm going to put a NOT gate in so the circuit I'm going to build here is this I'm going to have my NAND gate here the output of my NAND gate going into another transistor whose output is a NOT. So this is a this this here is a NAND gate, this here is a NOT gate, so NOT NAND is AND, and this here will give me AND. Okay? So once again, if you're kind of stuck or want to go back and find out exactly what's happening, look at my previous video, the NAND gate and the NOT gate. And if you if you want to see another way or a, not a good a way, as good a way at making an AND gate, there is a separate video on that. So here's the circuit I built. Here's my NAND gate. And what I've done is I've actually added in one or two extra wires here as per normal just to make my presentation slightly easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the output on the, the from the collector of my transistor one into the base of transistor two. So this red wire here, as we saw in a previous video is the output from the collector of transistor 1. So I'm going to get a, a third transistor. Here, I'm going to put that in like that. And the emitter of that I'm going to ground with this orange wire here. So what I've done is I've this, there, that is the red wire, this is the orange wire here, going down to ground. And I'm going to put in a 600 ohm resistor in series with the collector. So the, this red wire here is going from the collector and it's going over towards the high line through a resistor which will be in series with it. Here's my 600 ohm resistor which is now in series. Just to show you up close. Here's my NAND gate. There is the collector of transistor 1 in series with this red wire here which is, its, 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 is the output of the NAND going into the base of my transistor number 3 and the emitter of which is going to ground via this orange wire here. Then the collector of that transistor is going from this through this red wire to this resistor and into, into high. Now the output of it is yet to be done. So the output is coming from the resistor and the collector to ground. So this yellow wire is actually coming from the, the collector of it. So I'm going to put a 5mm LED in series with it. And I'm going to ground that. So I've put in from the, from the collector to the resistor to the LED and down to ground. That's so up close to that. And up close to that is, get in focus please. Okay, so there's the collector. It's in series with the red wire going to high. It's also in series with the yellow wire going to my output, which will be AND and down to ground. So it's time to check the truth table of that. Remember, the truth table for this, it should be low unless both A and B are high. So there's, here are my inputs here. So A and B are low, and I get a low. A high, B low, I get a low. B high, A low, I get a low. 
and B, A and B high, I get a high. Now, compare this with my previous AND gate, which actually had some sort of, uh, had, had an output here uh, for one of the A and B high states on its own. So uh, this is clearly a better design. So that is how you make an AND logic gate.